Hey guys, welcome to Ally Edge. So I have a really cool tip, uh, tech tip. It's a cool little trick that I'll show you guys real quick. And a lot of times when you're welding up holes in sheet metal, it's kind of a pain in the ass because you burn through and you have problems with the, trying to get it to weld and you end up heating up the metal too much because you're trying to burn in a weld and whatever. And I'll show you a cool way to do that. This is an old piece of copper pipe out of a, I think it's out of our other garage. There was a bunch of copper pipes in there that the, some guy took out of the garage or whatever, they were in a pile. And I took this piece and I flattened this out with a hammer and it's just copper, just straight copper pipe that you would buy like in Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to weld up these holes in this sheet metal in a real fast way so that you could, uh, you know, like if you're, maybe you're working on an old 49 Mercury or something and you wanna weld up the holes in the door after the chrome was taken off. And uh, this is a simple way to do it. You take and put a piece of copper pipe behind that hole you weld up that pipe or that uh, hole while you're holding that pipe behind it and the copper pipe doesn't stick to it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I got the hole here. I'm gonna go ahead and weld that up. And super fast, I welded that hole up and the thing is, is it doesn't stick to the copper pipe. So the copper pipe, lets it weld and it's a nice clean weld on the front. It doesn't warp the metal. You can see it's not warped at all. And then I'll go ahead and do that again so you can see it. And the copper doesn't stick to the back of it. It's a super trick tech tip. That's a cool, cool way to do it. And you know, the copper, a lot of times you have to have something like a piece of metal behind this because if you try to weld this up, you know, the wire just spits through the hole. You guys know what I'm talking about. But the other thing is, is if you're trying to butt weld something and you're trying to get something butt welded, if you have a piece of copper pipe behind it, this is another cool way to do it. You could uh, weld that butt weld while it's with the copper pipe behind it. You can see the copper sticks, but at the same time it doesn't stick because all you have to do is pull it off. Right. <laughs> Oop, I bent that. Yeah. But you can awesome. see that it, it welds it to the copper pipe, but at the same time it doesn't it's stick enough stay. to stay on there. So you can just pop the copper pipe right off the back. And I'll go ahead and fill this fill this gap right here and I'll leave the copper behind it. Now, if you did that with a piece of metal, that piece of metal would be stuck, stuck to the back of it. It'll stick a little bit, but it doesn't stay on there. Anyways, it's a cool tech tip. Figured I'd share that with you guys. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any other cool ideas with copper pipe or any welding trips, uh, tricks. I'd like to hear that too. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the bell and don't forget to subscribe. Later.